Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Capri and today's video is brought to you guys by Free Trust. I am going to be putting in some crochet hair. I know it's been a minute. This is their pre-looped Yaki Bounce hair and I have it in the color 2 and she is 16 inches long. They were nice enough to send me three packs of three, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. For my braid pattern, I just did 12 in the front going straight back, and I brought those into five going straight back in the back as well. Now to fill in the gaps, because I did um, part my hair going straight back, I'm gonna be using this wig cap just to fill in the spaces in the back so that I'm able to utilize every single part of the back of my hair so I can fit as much hair as possible. This is what the hair looks like, and you can see it has the little flexi locks on there. This just helps to keep your hair in place so that you don't have to keep wrapping it around and tying it and all that. And it feels really, really good. This yaki texture is amazing. So to get started with the crochet hair, you're going to open up that loop where your flexi lock is just so that you can fit at least two to three fingers inside to be able to grab the hair and pull it through once you crochet it in. You wanna make sure that your hook is open, slide it into a gap area, slide your hair onto the hook, close the latch, and then pull it through. After you pull it through, you're just gonna pull the hair through the loop, and then you're gonna take that and you're gonna separate it and pull it apart so that it locks the flexi lock in. And this is how much hair is in one bundle, I'm gonna call it a bundle, out of the whole pack. And you can see already how it's full and the gaps are pretty much filled in already. And this is after two of the three bundles. And this is after using a whole pack of hair. And you see how it's filled in pretty nicely. It looks really full and flowy and I just love it so far. And with this hair, you don't wanna put them too close together because the hair is pretty thick and full already. And again, to do the regular crochet, you want to open your hook, slide it under your braid, open up your loop so that you can fit at least two to three fingers through so you're able to grip the hair, of course. Slide it onto your hook, close the latch, pull it through, slide it off, and open your loop and pull your hair straight through. After that, you wanna separate the hair and then make sure that you lock in that flexi lock. Okay, so now for the invisible knot or invisible part method, you're gonna slide your hook through, as usual, the same way and the same steps that you use to do the regular crochet method way. But when you pull the hair through the loop after you pull it under your braid, you're only gonna pull up about a third of the hair. Some people do have, I do a third because I want more hair to be on top. And then you just pull it like that. Okay, so hey guys, this is the finished result of my crochet hair. I haven't done crochet in a good minute since my locks and that was back in like March or so. So yeah, it's been a little minute. But yeah, this is the Yaki Bounce 16 inch from Free Trust and I'm loving it. Um, it's kind of like the other Yaki hair that I did of theirs but without the little curve under at the end and it seems a little bit thinner too. It seems like they made them into smaller pieces either, even though some of them are bigger than the others. So I tried to use the smaller ones in the front and the thicker ones in the back. Um, I didn't really pay attention to how the hair was laying when I put it in. They all sort of just still curve under. And if they do curve out, eventually they start curving under when you like come through it or whatever. But overall, it's really nice. The texture is lovely. It's really gorgeous. Um, I can run my fingers through it. It's nice and light. Um, it is really hot outside, so this hair is a bit much for these summer months. But um, 
it's doable it's doable so yeah i just did the 12 braids in the front going into five braids in the back because i connected the three smaller ones on the sides into one because that wasn't a lot of hair um in my little side ones so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching my video make sure that you comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell down below to be updated on my new videos and i will see you guys in my next one Won't you be my...